Never gonna give you up Never gonna let you down Never gonna run around Hey, what is going on guys? Plays right here and today I'm doing a collaboration video basically a post for post with casual savage and a huge thanks to him for letting me be on his channel if you don't really know who I am I'm Splays, but um, I do related videos to casual savage if you want to check me out and my channel the link will be in the description down below if you want to check that out and yeah guys, and today I'll be showing guys how you can make a cartoon profile picture for your YouTube channel or Twitter, just whatever, any social media really. What you want to do is go ahead and open up Photoshop and once you have opened it up, go and click on file. You want to go and click on new and on the width and height, you want to make sure you set the width to 500 and the height to 500 as well, just because on YouTube, um, the size of the profile picture is 500 by 500 as well and make sure the background content is on transparent and you should be good to go go ahead and click on ok now you want to go ahead and paste your image in by clicking on file click on place embedded or just place image depending on the kind of version you have of photoshop and just place the image right there so for this case you might have already realized it i'm gonna use rice gum as an example for this video so shout out to you rice gum <laughs> no but um yeah we are going to make a cartoon of rice gum right now so the first step is to go ahead and highlight on rice gum by clicking on the quick selection tool and just highlight them on his face or you can also highlight them on his shirt first so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that on his shirt first so to do that only do it just go ahead and highlight it like this go around it and make sure try not to get it on his neck and like this okay that looks pretty good what you want to do next is go ahead and click on ctrl c and ctrl v and this should pop up another layer if you just click on the eye um, icon right here you should be able to see it but don't panic right now i know you can see the neck to it as well only just going to click on the zoom tool and just zoom that in real quick just click on the erase tool right here and you can make it a little bit bigger so maybe 15 and just erase this stuff right here his neck right here and then you just want to go ahead and highlight rice gum's neck head and hair as well by clicking on the quick selection tool make sure you just go ahead and duplicate the layer as well so you can actually quick select it and once you're done that do the same thing again Control c Control v and this should be popping up right here his head right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and erase his background and things like that. All right, so this is the best thing I can do right now. I know the neck seems a little bit weird right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish that on um, later on this video. Just want to go ahead and click on the hoodie or the face and right click, click on blending options, and then just want to go ahead and click on color overlay. Select the color of his hoodie or just any color really. And I'm just gonna go ahead and select a nicer color. I'm gonna make the hoodie blue and go ahead and make his face to um, yellow or whatever color his face is. So that looks pretty good, but we are not done yet. We just wanna go ahead and click on the zoom tool again. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the eyedropper tool and click on the skin tone right here. Go ahead and make the neck better like this. So you just want to go ahead and fill all the blank spots right here. And that looks pretty neat. That looks pretty good. And then as you can see, the hoodie kind of um, is above the actual face. So you just want to go ahead and go to your layer right here. And put the face up on the hoodie. And that looks pretty good. And now what you want to do is go ahead and click on file. Place embedded. And just paste in um, your background. Place your background on here. Click on it and your background should be loading up. Make sure to resize it. We're just gonna go ahead and add some effects to it. So drop shadow, set the opacity to about 100, the distance to about three, um, spread three as well, size five. And then you can go ahead and edit as you want. So auto glow, we need the auto glow. Set it to 100, you can set the color as well. So maybe orange, that looks pretty good. You can set the size to it as well. 10 you can also add the inner glow i like the inner glow a little bit better like this set to size to about 10 and that looks pretty good and that's about it for this video if you enjoyed it be sure to smash the like button down below and subscribe 
to my channel if you are new to the channel and and with that being said my name is place and i'll see you guys on the other side peace